because Google what? has decided to buy Neverware. What? <laughs> yes. What? So um, Google is acquiring Neverware. Um, they do not. Pl- they plan to completely honor anyone's existing licensing and agreements. So if you're paying for it, because it is the Neverware licensing is is a um, annual subscription fee. Mm-hmm. Um, but it can make, you know, like you said, any old computer useful again, running Chrome OS. Um, so who I'm interested to see how Google spins this. Will they continue to make it where, you know, if you want to manage it and do some G Suite stuff and maybe run Android, maybe there's a fee included. Um, hopefully I would I'm not a huge fan of the subscription theory for my OS, but that being said, um, maybe it's worth twenty or thirty bucks a year. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe it'll become part of you know pay for an additional tier of cloud storage, um, and you pick this up too, with with additional capabilities like the management and like the ability to run Android. Is it? Um, but I thought it was a pretty interesting purchase from Google. I mean, it doesn't doesn't Chrome OS by itself just encourage you to buy into more Google services to basically do anything? Like that's the point, right? Yeah, and it, it's interesting because I feel like they're trying to change some of their modeling, which concerns me, right? Because obviously they're already gleaming a lot of data and information from me. Mm-hmm. Um, I am actually right now, as we speak, doing mass deletes on my Gmail account because I just got a warning that says if I don't clean up my Gmail account within the next 24 hours, I will no longer be able to send or receive messages. Or I can pay them more money. So I guess it's time to clean up. Uh, So that's kind of like I've been getting emails from Dropbox. Hey, don't bother deleting stuff. It's like, yeah, because you (laughs) want me to pay you more money. I, I get it, you know. Like it, it, but it's not like warning me like it is yours, right? It's saying, ah, don't worry about that. Just click this button, and we'll charge your cart. <laughs> so yeah, I'm interested to figure out how I. So earlier, before I started deleting things, I at least had like a a bar to tell me how much space. Yeah. I was over yeah. on my fifth free 15 gig. Yeah. Um. Oh, there we go. I'm now down to. That's cool. I was at 15.1 gig. I'm now down to 9.88 gig. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how I filled two terabytes of both uh, uh, Dropbox and Google Drive uh, somehow. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I have four terabytes of cloud out there, <laughs> a functional cloud out there. It's not including Backblaze. Um, I got a lot of cloud out there. But uh, no. Uh, so, anyways, either way, bring it back around. Chrome OS, you can put it on anything. Uh, now more officially from the sounds of it. I'm, I'm going to be um, keeping an ear out. And if you hear something, please pass it along because I'm really excited to get when this becomes official Google Chrome uh, to throw that on my machine and see how it works. If, see if there's any differences, really. Um, because it's it's really smooth. I, I usually just throw it on a key drive, uh, a, a thumb drive, and just that's the thing you slap into a computer, you know, if you don't want to deal with the Windows stuff. Or need to make sure the computer works right, like that. That was a big like. I used to do the same thing with Ubuntu. I, I would throw it on an old computer. It'd be like, if this can't run Ubuntu, Linux, it's a Linux distribution. It can't run anything worthwhile. <laughs> this basically was my line when I was getting rid of computers, like older computers. I don't do that as much anymore. Um, after several arguments with my wife. 